many years ago, a, uh, uh, a knife works place that sold artifacts and things in Tennessee, and an, an old lady come to him and said she had a collection that had belonged to her father, and she'd like to see if she could raise a little money out of it. And he asked what she had, and she says, I got everything. All of these uh, textiles you see here was in that collection. And this was the best one in it. And this friend of mine, he says, I'm making a catalog. I have the catalog. And he says, I'm going to give you first choice. What do you want? Because there's lots of gold items and everything. This, this collection had, turn of the century, this guy had went down there and hired people and they acquired all this stuff in, in Peru. I didn't have any money to buy the gold or anything, but I bought all the textiles. That's why you have such a nice display of textiles here. And this was the best one in it. It's a poncho. They used a beetle to get the, the red dye. It's a little beetle that they, they would squash to make the red dye on all these. And it's so dry in the section of Peru that the textiles are just the same shape as they were when they put them in there. They had never got a drop of moisture on them. But this here was with the belt and everything. And this here it says, Peruvian textile poncho and woven belt from Dry Cave and Cruzo, Peru. Approximately 1,850 years old. This poncho and other artifacts had already been sealed in the cave for 300 years before Columbus discovered America. Ain't that most remarkable? That's history. That's why I love history.